Okay, let me try to explain this setup. I've got my 555 timer circuit. So this is my signal generator, essentially. The transistor gets really hot because I'm going to be driving a solenoid that's very low resistance. So I have this cold pack here from my freezer uh, to provide additional cooling. Um, over on this side, I have uh, these solenoids that I uh, hand wound. Uh, one is uh, wrapped clockwise and the other is wrapped counterclockwise so that um, if, uh, if I provide like a pulse on these two top wires, I'll pro uh, it'll create a no north and a south. And um, here's the um, capacitor I made. I, I wrapped a coil around it and I, I don't really know what the permeability is. But if this is stainless steel, the permeability might might be uh, as high as 3,000 or something. So I did 10 wraps. And what I'm shooting for is the Earth's field NMR frequency. Um, this is a multimeter hooked up to um, the capacitor and the coil. Uh, they they pro provide a tank circuit. Uh, there's an antenna coming in and ground. And I'm going to be measuring the current flow uh, between these two points. Now, right now, with with the 555 timer off, there is no current flow. I'm going to turn it on, which will oscillate these um, electromagnets near the magnet here, and the compass that's inside here will uh, spin and will either point to the magnet or the or the electromagnet depending on the duty cycle of the pulse and the timer is set up to be in the audio range okay So um, this is 1.8, 1 1.75, 1.8 milliamps. The compass is sort sort of pointing uh, west, which is sort of the middle middle of the solenoid. That seems to be the high point in terms of current flow. So uh, this, when I slow this pul pulse down to like every second, the compass actually spins. So there's actually a vortex spinning in here creating a current in the coil, which you can observe here. So I think this is confirmation that you can convey energy from this system to this system.